Oh man. I'm bad man. So it kind of sucks like I want to play it and look at my phone, but we'll see, we'll see, but I'm not sure to watch it on my TV. So here we go. Purple OP. I know, sorry. Ooh, story is tailored to how we play, guys. They didn't waste any time wasting that dude. No time wasted. Are these like dead shots, guys? Rip. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? We'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. to plug it in. want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Alright. Oh, snap. Here I come. Purple Batman. Face guys. Oh. <laughs> Bet you didn't know it's Batman. I think I got Shrek. Should have got Shrek. Got in. Don't let it get out. What was that? Uh -oh. This is easy. Boop. <coughs> the hell is this? <coughs> All right.
Dang. He looks like Spider Man there, all just hanging there. Come at! Come on! Come on! Rip that dude's face. Graphical lag. Where is she? Didn't your mother teach you to knock? What? Behind you, big boy. Sorry guys, I can't let you catch me. Dude, I like the purple, dude. That's <laughs> freaking badass. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Now, uh, what are we picking? What are we picking, guys? Pick. Uh. So brooding. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. <laughs> Oh dang, it's getting kinky in here. Oh dang. I am messing around. <laughs> I think that's why I like Catwoman. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I think he tried to grab her booty. I think he tried to grab her booty right there. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Oh, what the hell? Booty, I think it is. She got a feisty attitude.
Oh, I was about to grab her booty. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. Oh, dang. God damn it. I said don't shoot. No. Wait. Shit. That mother ever shot me. Oh no. Go, dude, go. Save her booty. Catch her, dude. <laughs> Just scared to go for it, right? Uh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Freaking police, man. Police just shot me. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then, time to save the city. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. I just get shot and thank just chilling at a party. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? 
And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a <laughs> kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... Our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Oh, snap. But a dent in crime was pretty lit. Dang it, I should have picked that one. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, oh, you know, remember like that. birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. You've still got time. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. <laughs> with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. He was just checking out that booty. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested. And reporter <laughs> for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. 
Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Yeah. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Mm-hmm. But how are you doing? I'm fine. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Mm. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Dang! Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Dang. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Uh-oh. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. But at least to hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent one guy looks like Sean Penn. Ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Come on, Falcon. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Dang. You're a... Uh... Respectable man, I hear. I'm refusing that shit. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Do not negotiate with terrorists. I'm Batman. I denied him the handshake. Is that the handshake he deserves? <laughs> oh my gosh. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill had... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine, 